town has a story to tell, and to one family, that story has been preserved inside four walls that hold some of their favorite memories with their favorite people. To this family, it's the Oil Field Store. I got to make a little trip to Oil Field, Illinois, to soak up the legacy the store holds and what one family member is doing to keep it alive. We're in Oil Field, Illinois. Of course, uh, you can find it on the maps and even Google and uh, Tom Tom and all those other things out there. Sometimes they get you to this building right on 49 between Casey and Westfield. It was built in 1866, a one-room school. It was called Butternut. And it was built uh, just a few yards north and east um, in that vicinity over there, the crossroads just north of us. And it was a school until about 1927, and maybe a little earlier they stopped going there, and they built a new school on the corner, and they named it Oilfield School. My brothers and sisters attended there, but I uh, was too young, I didn't get it to go there. We went on to Westfield, and they consolidated with Westfield. But um, about 1927, they dismantled this building, Board by board, I heard, and walked it up closer to Route 49 and put it back together in the fashion of a general store. So it operated up there until 1963 when they widened Illinois Route 49. And the state said this building sat too close to the road at that time, and you can still see the concrete slab where it was. And it is right next to the ditch. <laughs> so uh, the state said it had to be torn down or moved because uh, it would be too close to the highway. So my father, Albert Ennis, had the garage in this um, plot of land at the time, and it was given to him, and uh, of course he had the expense of moving it with a, a truck then at that time, and uh, moved it here in this spot, 1963, and further back off the road, of course. <laughs> so, and it was a general store for years and as I got older uh, I would watch the store for a little bit my mom went down to the house and did errands and um, dad was over at the shop but uh, they went to high school and got married and moved away a little bit not far and uh, came back and watched the store once in a while when mom needed it and then uh, Pat, dad passed away and it was closed for approximately 20 years used for storage while well, my siblings uh, had the, the farm land behind it and had the crops in and so forth. And uh, it was closed for about 20 years and then uh, opened back up in 19 or 2007. So in 09, I purchased it and uh, took over and ran it for seven and a half years. Uh, well, five and a half years, six days a week, I guess it was. And I added homemade pies and a little dinner plate. So occasionally we had that with the homemade noodles and meatloaf and all those things. With the with the hamburger and the corn dogs still, french fries. <laughs> I had one couple that said, uh, ask what was on the menu. And the lady said, uh, she called about it. And uh, I told her what we had. And she says, oh good, my husband can come there and have a hamburger and I can eat real food. <laughs> so, I thought that was a neat way to put it. Anyway, I had to quit for about three years and still had it open for events. I opened it up for reunions and still do birthday parties. We've had three or four wedding rehearsal dinners here, people in the community and um, relatives. So I enjoy that too, and people enjoy the country setting. So, and now I'm back at it part-time, retired early. So just seasonally, um, just Thursday, 11 to 2, Friday 11 to 8, live music Friday night from 6 to 8, and then Saturday 11 to 2 are my hours now, and as I said, seasonally, so it's, uh, I close down the middle of December, and then open back up in April. Well, again, as Martha mentioned, the store is seasonal, so now is the time to plan your visit. We'll have more on the rich history of the oil field store in just a bit with a deeper look into what that space means to their family.